Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police channel to our loyal viewers and subscribers. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. At the channel, we believe in saving lives and that is what we are all about. Yes, saving lives of the youths. Yes, and we don't make excuses of criminals. So we just want people to know that. Before we begin the video today, we want the criminal supporters, enablers, sympathizers, financiers, beneficiaries to know that we do not want them over here. We at the Jamaica Young Police Channel are not beholden to anyone. We do not owe anyone anything. So don't expect anything from us because we are not a criminal organization. We do not support criminality. Our criminals, as we said, we do not want the criminals them over here. Yes, this is a law abiding citizens all over the world, not for criminals. So we just want you to know that. Because we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we eat criminals with a passion. And we do not negotiate with terrorists. I want them in our midst. Please go where you are welcome. There is a man by the name of Wayne Uglesome. Yes, you can go to his channel. He is a criminal supporter and an excuse specialist for criminals. So you can go over there. Yeah, so you know that there is a, there's a community they call Tivoli Gardens where the people, them, you know, most Jamaicans don't have anything good to say about Tivoli Gardens because they say, it's a matter of all garrisons, you know, in which that is what the pundits and all the police intelligence have said. Because they use a, you know, ex experience like a self governed community where, you know, um, the police normally, whenever the security force went into the Valley Gardens, it's like an incursion or invasion because there's no police post there, there's no report from Tivoli Gardens because anything that happened within Tivoli Gardens, they have a system there that works at them and the people have no problem with that. So we know that um, after the 2010 incursion, the PMP LGBTQ plus government, um, they, you know, take over a building and, and place a police station there, I don't know. If they got, if they, government had built a police station but if they didn't build a police station you cannot go and take over people building and just put police station there because the people of Tivoli Gardens never tell the tell the government that they want a police station and the people in my mother up my mother, my mother's country they want a police station because the PMP LGBTQ plus government for the past 30 it's going 30 years now since PJ Patterson had closed the police station so why you have the, um, the you know Tivoli Gardens um, police post and you're not giving me people in my mother country their police station? Who are you open by the police station, man? Yeah, so the people in Tivoli Gardens, yes, they, you know, they reach out to the Jamaica Young Police Channel and say, look, we want you, you know, to highlight that we in Tivoli Gardens we are mourning the death of SS of um, ACP Donald Pusey, and I was like. Tivoli Garden people, yes, and I'm saying yes, we at Tivoli Gardens, we are mourning the death of this crime fighter. He was a fearless man. You understand? And they tell us why they have so much so much respect for him because not only that when the police and gunmen from Tivoli have confrontation, but Mr. Pusey treated people there in Tivoli Gardens and they had a garrisons with respect, so they have a lot of respect for him. So female you know you know people because of where they're from they don't want to go on the record but the female she had shared that yes she said one day um donald Pusey was driving his vehicle along spanish town road when a man from tivoli gardens hit his vehicle and didn't stop and drove into tivoli gardens and guess who was right behind him donald Pusey, the great donald Pusey, to say she said, I, I, I'm alone in, in a police vehicle, I'm a, he's that, he, he went in Tivoli Gardens by himself behind the man who hit his car. 
Whitey Valley Gardens said that he is the most fearless police police officer. Uh, Adams is a baby to him. Uh, okay, this is what them say. Yeah, so the people in um, Tivoli Garden says that it was Mr. Pusey who saved the life, literally saved the life of the man that it is car because he said, oh, the, 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 the woman, you know, she said that when Mr. Pusey exited vehicle with him gun, drawn and cock and oh, and he said, Mr. Pusey, and leave some pants length, you know, I said, boy, oh, you think, hey, and she said, normally you that you know, you know, men would be advancing with illegal guns or anything like that because he's a policeman. But him said, boy, the respect where the system of for him in Tivoli Gardens, it was the man who hit Mr. Pius's car to apologize. And she said that Dudus, yeah man, Dudus himself get involved and the man was severely disciplined and you know and the rest and they fixed Mr. Pusey's car and Mr. Pusey said it's not the it's not the it that the boy hit him vehicle. It's, it's the principal after him licking vehicle him drive driver. You understand? And he said boy thinks I'm afraid because that evil him come from. And Mr. Pusey tell him say, hey, hey boy, if you don't want to me, me, me flatten down here, you know. I want to you know, you know, me in uh, unleash what the gate to help on the down at Tivoli. Hey boy, in time you see me not play with me, I think I have some idiot police. I mean, hey. And he said, boy, do this come out and say, all right, big boss, you don't know your respect, concrete, and, you know, and and the boy get a couple box and kick on them thing there. And Mr. Pius tell them, say, no, man, don't hurt him, man. And, and him, you know, and do this. And say, boy, boss, we take care of your vehicle and all of them. I'm saying, no, man, I take him. I said, no, boss. Principal man and them thing there and enough respect and you understand and that was it. So the people at Tivoli said, boy, hey look, we don't want to feel like all of we down here are bad people and them thing there, you understand? And him said, boy, you know that day was you understand, was a you know, was a day of reckoning for Tivoli people because no police never do that yet before. And the woman said, boy, yeah, and she said, boy, the respect with them off it um Tony with down at down at Tivoli too. She said, huge. Yes, yeah, she said, boy, I'm afraid of Tony with a Tivoli like postman because she didn't talk so soft, but him dangerous. So, them not play with him and them thing. So, them love it. Them said, boy, them deepest condolences. Yeah, to, you know, ACP, Pius's family. So, we we'll continue the journey. A fearless crime fighter, them say, yeah, you know, the, uh, yeah, he was a fearless crime fighter, Donald Pius. Who operate without fear or favor, and one who led his team and some of the most dangerous operation is our retired assistant commissioner of police, Donald Pusey, was remembered by several colleagues, including ACP Granville Guards, DCP Zippy Hines, and others, retired officers, and some currently who had paid tribute to the late known not. No nonsense crime fighter who has not been beholden to any political party. Although some would say that he was more a PMP supporter due to his relationship with former member of parliament, Edda Robinson. Why the police them say, boy, Pusey used to live in a, live in a niggle eye like a rabbit. Yeah, so he helped sister Edda Robinson. Because you know, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we have a lot of love for you. So we know, say, you're more to one of them You know, Mr. Pusey family but you are more to call you share some time with him so you understand and even a girl a CVM I don't remember her name right now them you understand the police are telling so DCP Hines worked directly with Pusey during police operation when he was at special branch another sensitive section in the JCF which allowed him to in interact with the seed of policeman directly Mr Pusey was a very serious and hard working policeman he was always inclined to take on the most difficult operations. He would always lead the police team in major operations and operated without fear or favor, malice or ill will. He was not beholden to anyone or owe anyone anything as a street and crime fighter. In May 2004, 
then senior superintendent Donald Pusey was a part of the police military team which kept a Jamaica most wanted man, Joel Andem, in a surprise pre-dawn operation. The much fear Andem, who was wanted for murder and extortion, among other charges, trembled like he was suffering from hypo hypothermia and pissed up his pants and fought several times during his trip to Kingston. Why? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so he said, why? He said, why the much fear Joel Andem? who was wanted for murder and extortion among other charges, trembled like he was suffering from hypothermia and pissed up his pants and farted several times during his trip to Kingston. When he realized that he was at the mercy of the lawmen, according to Pusey. ACP Pusey, informant had begged him not to kill Joel and them O.C. Ballard or else he was not going to give his whereabouts. And he kept his words. Oh, so the man did ask Mr. Pusey, so boy, yeah, I, want, uh, I know which part him there, but you have to promise me, say, you know, kill him, you understand, because he want to, he don't want to turn himself in, you know, but we don't want to, you know, come, come kill him, you know, you understand, sir. But him did be all like, house oh, and him thing there, country, you know, and them call Mr. Pusey, and, yeah, and them, you know, and that's the kind of policeman ACP Pusey were. By 2005, he was promoted to senior superintendent and put in charge a special anti-crime task force. He found himself embroiled in controversy while testifying at the trial of senior superintendent of police Renita Adams and five other policemen charged with murder of four civilians at Crawl Clarendon on May 7, 2003. After he testified against these police officers because as a crime fighter based on the intelligence and the information he received from the other men the case was a political hit job and it boils down to murder. I have people who live in the country too. Do you think I would, would have felt good if the police slaughter my family members because of their hatred for someone in my family because the person is a laborite and they wanted to kill him and could not? Referring to Cheng Cheng, the man from Homestead, Spanish Town St. Catherine said ACP Pusey. Some of his co-workers, especially the junior men and some senior officers, who are thieves who are thieves hated ACP Pusey for taking a stand against Renita Adams but he was a leader and knew that he could not support such a killing we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel do not support the police or anyone killing others other Jamaicans because of their political leanings or support Pusey led the operation and was also involved in the operation in which Klansman gang leader Donovan Bolby Bennett was killed by the police in Clarendon. And that was personal. Yes, that, that, that operation was personal because guess what? Bolby had threatened Edda Robinson. Yeah, uh, Edda Robinson, you know, Edda Robinson was, you know, Pusey used to live in a eagle eye like a rabbit. You can't have a threat now. If you threaten the man, oh man, you're a fool. That year, he was among the senior crime fighters who support, se celebrated the record number of firearms seized from criminals, which up to December 11 stood at 653, surpassing 640 guns. You saw many guns in Jamaica. Every year, they might fire like over a thousand guns. But that's supposed to be a thousand fatal shooting, preemptive strike. You understand? Pews believe in effectiveness of intelligence led operation and said as much so all of these things said by um dcp Heinz. it is intelligence intelligence led police and military operation through information from kingfish the now dismantled police unit that was very effective in getting rid of criminals and sending them to where they belong the prisons are the marks if they resist arrest and challenge the security force they would be met with preemptive strikes because it saved lives and we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel support preemptive strikes also that has allowed him and his team to retrieve more guns from criminal elements the Caribbean Search Centre had played a vital role in this from the inception Pusey said in the wake of that suc success yeah, Rear Admiral Peter Brady a farmer, Chief of Staff of the Jamaica Defence Force spoke to the professional approach of the late ACP Pusey 
although I'm not sure he had his personal political view, views when it came down to his operation, he conducted himself without fear or, affe fear or affection, malice or ill will, no matter who the criminal was. Brady, now Director of General of Maritime Authority of Jamaica, Rear Admiral Brady also maintained a friendship with ACP PUC after his retirement. Since then, I have been in touch with him and went to see him several times at his residence and took him out on two occasions, he shared. Whenever we went out, I would always call several other members of the JCF whom he knew well just to connect with them. The former fake police commissioner of police, Adi Lewis, and the man who was working feverishly to disarm the police force, said some things about the late ACC, ACP PUC. We at the Jamaica Young Police Channel refused to read them because he was not a police officer but a political plant in the prestigious Jamaica Constabulary Force, that organization that we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel serve. We at the channel work with ACP PUC on various operations and he was fearless, brave, hardworking and astute cop. One of the operations of Jamaica's most wanted men, Christopher Chris Bourne from Payne Avenue, Kinson 11, was killed in a shootout and two other men were injured in the schoolyard of Il Silasi. Four firearms were recovered at the scene. True warrior he was. ACP PUC had a beautiful soul. He was a good human being. We are heartbroken because of his passing. We are heartbroken. We will mourn his death. May the angel of the Lord receive him in good arms. Condolences to his family, friends. Rest in peace, Sir Pusey. Yes, so we're going to let you watch a video of an officer currently serving in the JCF. And this is his tribute to ACP um, Donald Pusey and his family. Yes, so you watch, you listen, you decide. That the show the man was a giant of a man in his time on this earth yes fifty three years ago veteran crime fighter Donald Pusey joined the JCF that was in nineteen seventy one and gave most of his life fighting the monsters of crime. His legendary service led him to so many section training and experience within the JCF that he is deemed to be one of the most remarkable crime fighter across the scope of the JCF. In 2002, along with Owen Ellington, former commissioner and Lola Evans he was promoted to senior soup and in those years as I trod the, the old ways of my own career I get to know this gentleman who so readily available for socialization for a camaraderie for a conversation and always lead the conversation. Donald Pusey was no normal policeman. He came to contribute and that he did. Today, many of us will mourn his loss. For people like him, Joseph has become known to many of us who join as a premier service to Jamaica and as such we move to become police officers when we hear of these these names today we have to reflect on service we have to reflect on what happened after service we have to pay attention to our veterans we have to start to archive their work and their service and we have to start 
to pay homage and attention to them as they live their life beyond the, the JCF. I myself have had an encounter with him as he left the force and from time to time I'll find him in the parish of St. Thomas and other places and we'll have brief conversations. His reflection was always on his service and his interest was always in what happens to the Jamaica Constable Force. It is important that we rally around his family, those who serve with him, and cheer up each other as we reflect on a great legend, Donald Pusey, a veteran of the Jamaica Constable Force. Rest in peace and may light perpetual shine on you. Yes, Officer Stonewall had, you know, ended on the right tone by, you know, his tribute to the farmer. ACP Donald Pusey who had, you know, passed away. But, you know, one thing I can say that, yeah, the Jamaica Constabulary Force, yeah, you know, is um, your call to serve. You know, and most people that are in the police force now, they are not serving. And I don't blame them for not serving because you're serving the most ungrateful people on earth because Jamaica is a criminal's paradise. The criminals in Jamaica have more rights than the police officers. And we're sorry that we have to, you know, um, digress from the tribute to ACP Pusey because back then, Jamaica, when ACP Pusey was serving, the politicians at least, you know, especially in the 1980s, they have respect and love for the police. It is not like that anymore. Because right now, when you join the police force, it's easier for you to leave with a criminal record. Because you are forced to give a statement. So you don't have, you know, that you don't have the rights under the constitution. So, and he has, you know, as, you know he has eloquently stated that uh, ACP Pusey was a man of honor, integrity, and a man whose character is above most of the officers in the Jamaica Constabulary Force today's day because he was a people person. The poor loved him and the uptowners love him. He makes rub shoulder level one and he treat people equally. And that is the reason why he's celebrated today by even the people from Inti Valley. I haven't received anything from people from my community of Jonestown or Jungle or even Waterford. You understand that? You know, or even anyway in Unspear Police area, even the people them from Mackay Lane or Payne Avenue or one of those places because remember, you know, Christopher Brown, you know, Chris was giving the people them problem in Mackay Lane and adjacent community, killing them. And it's ACP views who led that operation and, you know, that was the end of it. Lights out. Yeah, thanks for watching the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Jamaica Young Police Channel, out.